Hello, and welcome to my secret hideout. I don't know what's going on here today, but there are loads of spiders in my hideout. Like this spider. His name's Goldie. He's a golden orb. He's a beauty, isn't he? Now, some people get the heebie-jeebies when it comes to spiders, mainly because of their spooky webs and their hairy legs and their many eyes. But I love spiders. Spiders are often very small, but they have to catch prey that are a lot larger than they are and get away from animals trying to eat them up. So they need lots of tricks up those eight sleeves. Some have big fangs, some have really sticky webs, and some kick spiky hairs off their body to keep animals away. There's another spider that definitely belongs in my hideout because it loves to hide, especially in tunnels. It will stay in the tunnel and then it will jump out in a surprise attack. The question is, are you brave enough to meet it? Trapdoor spiders hide in little tunnels behind trapdoors. And if they feel anything small walking past, like a beetle, they jump out to grab it. And did you know that there's a spider that's just like a cowboy? Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy spider! Yee -hee! Yee -hee! It's called a bola spider. And while it stays pretty hidden during the day, at night it dangles a long line of sticky web and swings it around to lasso and catch passing moths. Isn't that amazing? Now we're going to do something really cool. Ready? This is one of my all-time favourite spiders. It's a tarantula. It looks like it's walking along the bottom of the screen. Look. Hello, welcome to my secret hideout. I'm just looking for a matching pair of socks at the moment for my adventure tomorrow. But all I can find are odd socks. It'd be really handy if I could just change the colour of one of them. Now I know it sounds like magic, but there are lots of animals that can change colour. No, really. Some animals are so good at changing colour that they can use it for camouflage. So we could have an animal right here in the hideout trying to camouflage itself, and we'd never know. Hey, look! Do you know what this is? It's a Yemen chameleon. Now these guys are masters at changing colour. But they don't just try and camouflage themselves, they change colour to communicate with each other. And chameleons aren't the only ones. Come on, let's take a look in my bucket. This strange animal is called a cuttlefish. They can change colour and they can make funny patterns. They do this to warn other cuttlefish away or even find a mate. Hey, get out of here, man. No, not you. You can stay, man. Another master of the underwater world is the Mimic Octopus. Not only can it change colour, but it can also change shape. Come on, let's take a look. Here it is, pretending to be a flatfish swimming across the sand. I can't be an octopus. I'm all flat. See? And now it's pretending to look like a sea snake. Nothing to see here, uh, just a sea snake going about its business. Definitely not an octopus. I'm a sea snake. You see? Snake. Oh. That's better. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, finding a matching pair of socks for tomorrow. Hey, how did you get down here, little fella? Oh, look! Our chameleon friend has taught the socks how to change colour. I've got one sock, two socks, a pair of socks. Perfect. Ah, hello. I'm Andy, and welcome to my secret hideout. I've just come back from one of my adventures, and I've got something in my shoe. What, what are you doing in my shoe? <laughs> no idea. One moment I was shuffling along minding my own business, and then the next... Scorpions are incredible creatures. They come from a group of animals called arachnids, the same family as spiders. There are over 2,000 species of scorpions living around the world, and they live everywhere from the Himalayas to the Brazilian forests to even deserts. 
There are loads of fascinating desert dwellers in the animal kingdom. Here, let me show you. This is the Namib Desert in Africa. Oh, look, it's a pompilid wasp. She's looking for somewhere to lay her eggs. Oh. Watch out. Sorry. Uh-oh, she's uncovered a spider. It doesn't look happy. Oh, oh. What's it doing now? <laughs> it's a golden wheel spider, and it's using its cartwheeling skills to escape. Brilliant, eh? But the thing I love most about snakes is the way they move. Most snakes use something called a serpentine movement. That's when they move in an S shape. They use their scales to push themselves along rocks and uneven ground. Can you think of any animals that move in unusual ways? Here are a few right now. Oh, look! It's a veined octopus from Indonesia. Oh, no. Being followed by that hungry flounder. Shh! Don't tell him I'm here. I'm being super sneaky. I'm keeping out of this one. The veined octopus doesn't have any special armor to protect himself, and he isn't quick enough to get away from the flounder on his own. Lucky for him, he is very clever. He's using the coconut shell as a shield. Isn't that amazing? Now he's found another half of the shell. Watch this. Oh. That is a very clever way of getting around. You'll never catch me now. Oh, now this is something really special. It's called a nautilus, and it lives deep under the water and only comes up to the surface of the ocean at night time to feed. They travel around using special pockets of air inside their shells, and they shoot out jets of water from the tube. Look! Amazing, eh? The only problem is, because it travels shell first, it can't see where it's going. Wow, what incredible ways of getting around. Us snakes are the most graceful, though. Can you think of any interesting ways of moving? See you next time. It's a gecko. There are over 2,000 species of gecko on our planet and still new ones being discovered. But hi, I'm the most handsome, yes? This one is called a crested gecko. I think I'll call him Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Now, most geckos are carnivorous, which means they'll eat insects and small mammals. But this one is omnivorous, which means they eat fruit as well as insects. But my most favorite thing about geckos is their superpower. They are incredible climbers. Their tiny feet have lots of little hairs on them, which allow them to climb up even the smoothest of surfaces. Come on, Gordon. On you go. Look at that. There are lots of great climbers in the animal kingdom. Take a look at these. It's a bonobo mother and baby. The mother is building her and her baby a nest to rest in. Mum! 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 Charlie, will you please sit down? Even from a young age, apes are incredible climbers. Unlike monkeys, who have tails to hold onto branches with, they've got strong arms and legs to hold on tight. Oh, look at them go. Right, what else? Oh, look, rock hopper penguins. Oh, look at his cute fluffy face. Him and his dad are waiting for the chick's mother to return. She's gone fishing, and she's got a very tricky journey to get back to them. Watch out, Mum! 